Oh, hey know. there. I mean, <laughs> it's me, Wiggs, and today I want to talk to you about a very important subject. See, all right, start in the beginning. Yes, uh, yes come sit down again. <laughs> yeah. Damn it. <laughs> and be loud. This is what you wanted to be. You wanted to be an actor. You wanted to be a star, I, dude. I never said this was my dream role, but like, sure. You were born for this role, it. dude. All right. Mm. Loud and proud. Oh, hey there. It's me, Wiggs. And today, I want to talk to you about a very important subject. See, aliens don't just come from space. Sometimes they come from water, or the mucous membranes up in your nostrils. Sometimes they remove their skins and swap them out so they can trick you. Just eat. Fuck! <laughs> it cuts the same right, line. Keep them on. That's better. This? Okay. <laughs> as long as you tell them to shut up, <laughs> take it very seriously. Go with you. <laughs> okay. Just fucking just film it. Oh hey there, it's me, Wix. And today, I want to talk to you about a very important subject. See, aliens don't just come from space. Sometimes they come from water or the mucous membranes in your nostrils. Sometimes they remove your skins and swap them out so they can trick you into kissing your twin brother. Not in a malicious way. They have a culture that's very sexually free. And when they avoid procreating with siblings, they sometimes experiment with each other's bodies. I've also encountered aliens who procreate by ejaculating into a cup of orange juice and leaving it outside on hot days. And boy, you do not want to mix those two up. See, sometimes, myself, I make a glass of orange juice, but instead of coming in my own drink, I take it outside on hot days and let it warm up safely and organically under the sun. But one day, I went outside, and there were two glasses of orange juice, and I couldn't believe it, but I knew what this meant. So I closed my eyes, I grabbed the glass, and I started chugging. Next thing you know, I'm being whisked away off to the Zeta Reticuli star system and to be held on trial for murdering alien puppies. Well, luckily, the case was thrown out when a series of old tweets caused one alien to be revealed as a green supremacist. And during the resulting, oh, fuck, I... Next thing I know, I'm being whisked away to the Zeta Reticuli star system to be held on trial for murdering alien puppies. Luckily, the case was thrown out when a series of old tweets caused by one of the aliens to be received. Oh, fuck! Alright, dude, this is hard. Like, there are so many words to this. Ah! My tits, dude. Stop grabbing them so hard. <laughs> I gotta get it in. Gotta get it in? Next thing I know, I'm being whisked away to the Zeta Reticuli star system to be held on trial for murdering alien puppies. Luckily, the case was thrown out when a series of old treats caused by one of the aliens to be Mmm, I keep saying received. <laughs> it's not even on there. Luckily, one of the... Luckily, the case was thrown out when a series of old tweets caused one of the aliens to be received as a green supremacist. I said received again, didn't I? Yeah, you did. <laughs> I did. <laughs> what is happening? All right. You know what? Next time you get the fucking monologue. How about that? Nail it, dude. dude, you won't. All right, first off, the jerking off the mall skit, that was improv. Yeah, everyone I'm a could lot tell. better with it. Everyone could tell. A lot better with it. All right. Next thing I know, I'm being whisked away to the Zeta Reticuli star system to be held on trial for murdering alien puppies. Luckily, the case was thrown out when a series of old treats caused one of the aliens to be revealed as a green supremacist. And during the resulting race war, I was able to sneak into one of their skate pods and make my way back to Earth. But unfortunately, the only movie that they had playing on the escape pod was the Disney Channel hit movie, Xenon. Girl of the 21st century, which I found pretty ironic given the setting. But still, it's a great film. It always reminds me of my pa and how he would tie me to a tree and make me stare at the sky until I got photographic evidence of the alien that had been plaguing our family for stealing our dear Martin Minos. But enough about me. Take some time today to think about your families and loved ones. And remember, not everything in life is so black and white. 
Sometimes it is green or orange, and sometimes it reflects an even new color that I discovered myself in Quiddly. It's a bluish pinkish chrome color that goes black purple when you're too close to an ovulating woman. So next time you look up at the sky, think about what could be looking back and the implications that this could have on our entire universe. Thank you for watching. Great. Fuck this. Wait. Fuck this.